Hello, we are Geeks Assembled. Welcome and back, we're... Lee. Woo! Ooh, hello. Yes, we've, hello. We've, had a, we've had a little break over the um, Christmas festivities, shall we say. Um, and we're back. We're back in January. We're back with a bullet. <laughs> Especially this movie, what we're going to be discussing from 1995. Martin Scorsese, of course. He, You know, he... We've done quite a few of his movies. Yeah. In the past. Um, well, we know what we like. <laughs> yep. And this one it says from 95 Casino, um, De Niro, Sharon Stone, um, Pesci. Is it Pesci or Pesky? Pesci. Pesci. I never can. Uh, uh, yeah. I, so, and this is supposedly based on true events. It is true, Vince. It's it is how how the Ma, the La Cosa Nostra hung out in in Las Vegas and turned a pretty profit off of the casino life. So it sounds like Susan has done her homework on this one, so because I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. Um, so she may be able to inform me as we go along what's what yes. and who, who was who. Um, yeah, as, as as Susan said, it, it's about the business of the the casino game in Vegas, is um, or the height of the uh, casinos in Vegas. In the uh, starts off in seventy three, I think it is, and, and works its way into the eighties. Yep. So we've got De Niro as a um, a casino manager. We've got uh, Pesci as his friend from way back yep. who was a bit who was, who was, who was a bit uh, shall we say a little bit violent yep. <laughs> a little bit a little bit uncontrollable um <laughs> we've got Sharon Stone um has De Niro's eventually wife Paramore um, yeah, yeah and um who's got a sordid background and doesn't seem to be able to leave that behind her um We've also got James Wood in here, uh, you know. So it, it it's gangster, it's violence, it's Scorsese. What more do you want? Uh, not a lot. Not a lot. So <laughs> we're going to go to Susan, and let's hear what she has to say about Casino. All right, this is like the uh, this is like the 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 fiction story on the nonfiction truth of of the Irish uh sorry um I meant Jewish head of the casino and this one was they said that this was the casino that was um let me see uh <clears throat> It was the one that was um was it called the flamingo uh it was it was one of the ones that was uh, the original ones created by the mafia money in 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 Las Vegas anyway the strip uh used to be populated by various like you go, this one was mafia, that one wasn't. This one was mafia, that one wasn't. And uh Stardust. The Stardust, yeah. Stardust, the, Fremont, Marina, and Hacienda. Yeah. He, and, he uh, just come up there now. Just uh, they, that's all the ones that they ran in real life. Yeah. And uh so like every other one, um they they had great entertainment frank sinatra who was uh i guess he was like the 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 linchpin of the entertainment world in in uh las vegas like he was the one who was basically you know sur they, they surrounded uh him with all the people who who he could choose and he would you know make famous he was basically and and then you know he himself got really rich and famous 
and I I, I enjoyed uh, seeing um, seeing Robert De Niro playing this uh, this Jewish guy and uh, Joe Pesci playing his Italian friend, his Italian mafia made man friend, and like the, that 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 was really fun because you know De Niro is nothing if not a, a New York Italian guy himself and and who knows you know whether or not any of these these fellows in real life are are made or not who knows because like the Coppola's and everything and, and in this case uh you know it's just it, it's just amazing like the 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 story is is brutal it's uh it starts off really like you just you just enjoying the ride, like how much fun they're having, and then and then it gets really dark, and then it stays really dark, and um, mm-hmm. it ends really sad, tragically almost, and um, and so uh, let me see. Um, I'm just gonna look this up really quick. Hang on, wait. Where is my, there's my cast members. Um, yeah, yeah, Sam, he, De Niro played Sam Rothstein, also known as Ace. And I guess I should have been wearing my bring, bring Ace back shirt because, you know, he's, anyway. Uh, and Joe Pesci played Nikki Santaro. And these are these are actually uh, just names that are kind of um, these are just names that they're giving to actual real life people that are that are named differently. Yeah, it's uh, it's like uh, Lester Diamond was a was a caricature of a of a Los Angeles dude who who uh, was you know sliming in on ginger's uh ginger's life and then there's all that 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 schmarminess of her you know she started off really 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 elegant and really really in control and then because of drugs and because of of relying on this guy um diamond that she just she just loses her mind anyway and uh sam tries tries to reel her in and and then there's other cool people in this cast like don rickles and alan king and kevin pollock and i'll just that those are the ones that i'll just you know talk about um the the they all had a they all had a play with the mafia and they all had to play with themselves in in their uh gambling and um and so it was pretty amazing that there was um that there was uh so much energy and and uh and force put behind these the these people um and yet there was a um a sense that they were uh that they were in the right uh, to do whatever the heck they wanted to do. And they came up against the, the son of, of a, of a city councilman. And then also like a sheriff who was, you know, crooked as all get out, but also, you know, definitely against LCN and, or, or the mafia or whatever and so that was interesting and it was well played it was designed gorgeously lots of lights and i just think that that's amazing because when it was made what was it 95 yeah Um, it was uh they had to recreate all these things because all the all those major casinos had been demolished and that was amazing because like now there's things like like the Luxor and everything else, and it's all owned by big, like, you know, uh, funds like like mutual funds or whatever. 
Um, anyway, big uh, economic funds, financial companies, uh, maybe shell companies, but they are financial companies basically. And so, and there, there are things like the, the Trumpy or the fucking, um, the, the, the Excalibur, or what's, what's another one that's there? The, the Luxor, which is like super amazing. And then the Circus Circus, which wasn't there back then. That was, that was where the, uh, the Bellagio was. And there's just like so many things that were like, you know, that were really elegant, beautiful, sort of, you know, not, not themed casinos, just beautiful casinos. And now everything's got a theme and everything's got bullets and, and everything's sort of, you know, it's such an amazing Disney hasn't got involved with, with Las Vegas now, but it's just, it's it's like that it's it's gone from basically uh elegant mafioso to to disney sort of theme stuff theme parks because like um excalibur they have jousting matches in the in in the restaurants and in uh luxor they have like they have like dancing like an Egyptian and all these things and and circus circus is is a circus it, it, and, and oh, it's, a, America. It's, a, <laughs> it's a casino and a circus and it's all the same and it's all like multi floors and flying trapeze artists and all that that stuff and yeah only in America man it's just strange anyway that's that uh, and I, it's a good story, and it, it Scorsese is 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 amazing. Um, you know, Co Coppola and Scorsese, they did they did their their people proud by by presenting all these these uh, these different um, you know styles of of reality. I think of of the of the Italian families and stuff like that. It's just interesting how how deep and stuff that those two get into it. Anyway, I just think it's great. Um I really have uh I'm I, I really have a soft spot in my heart for that. I just got sucked into re reading and listening to all these things about Whitey Bulger, who's a who is a non Italian uh basically mafioso for for boston area and anyway that, that is all of these things lead me back and forth around these like things and so that's what, that's really one of my interests but um at one point i was kind of interested in in who and who each of these characters represented but i didn't i didn't actually bring that with me to this podcast but anyway I just really wanted to talk about the movies like we usually do. So, yeah, yeah. go on, go ahead, Lee. What's your opening thoughts? Well, my opening thoughts is it's a long movie. It is a long movie. But there again, it is a Scorsese movie, so you come to expect yeah. a lengthy runtime. Um, with it being based on true events and true people, you know, real people, only the names have been changed uh, to protect the innocent. Um, oh, no innocence. <laughs> there's no innocence in it. Uh, as you say, great cast. I'm just looking at, the, you know, Kevin Pollock. He he, he played the, uh, um, was it one of the senators or something like that in this? Yeah. Uh, and around the mid nineties, Kevin Pollock was in quite a few movies. Um, he seems to have drifted off just like I haven't seen him in much just for a while now. Um, he's a great actor. Um, and you say you've got, as you say, you've mentioned Don Rickles. Um, 
But you go down the list, you've got certain people playing themselves in this. You've got Frankie Avalon. Frankie Avalon makes an appearance. Um, Steve Allen makes an appearance. Uh, you know, the, it, it's, it was all about the cabaret. It was all about uh, the bright lights of, you know, of Vegas. Um, with the involvement, of course, the, the mob. Yeah. Um, and, and the way that the movie starts in the eight, in early 80s with the car exploding with De Niro in it, uh, yeah. and, then, and then the story rewinds to 1973, I think it was, where the story sort of begins. Um, the only gripe for me, are you ready for this one, Susan? There's only a gripe, a little, a little gripe. The character narration. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I'm thinking. There it is. Do, there it is. Do, the breaking point. The breaking point first for, uh, this, uh, uh, for this ten. This will be a ten out of ten because of the narration. Certain characters to be narrating the story <laughs> when the story is happening on screen anyway. Mm. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, it was for me slightly distracting, huh. you know, having De Niro say that you know talking away when, when things are happening on the screen, or or Pesci talking away. I don't. Know. I don't know why they did that, because I don't think Scorsese's done that in any of his movies. I think. I'm trying to I'm trying to remember now. It'll come to me. But, um, yeah, even. Scott says his mother was in the movie. Yeah. Uh, cast as um, Piscano, is it Piscano's mother? Yep. Um, and that, that is uh, that is Pesci's mom. No, I'm sorry. Piscano was which Archie's, guy? Mother. Archie's mother. Oh, okay. And I think if I remember rightly, Artie was it was either shop owner who had the book, and he was complaining about owing the the mob this money and paying out that money, and his mother was working in the shop as well. I think I think that was yeah, her. yeah, that's uh, right. Yeah, um, but it's it is it is a violent movie. What you but you expect that from Scorsese gangster movie? Uh huh. But I tell. You don't see, you see the violence, but the the but the main violence happens off screen. Yeah, it, that's it. Sure does. If, if you get if someone's getting beat up, or if someone's um getting st stabbed with a pen or whatever, or got the head in the vice, you don't see the gory ending. Yep. You see, it's like with the, the scene with the. Pesci with the pe um, attacking the guy at the bar. Yeah, the guy goes down behind the bar. You don't see the guy anymore. Right. You you see Pesci doing an action there, but that's it. It, it. So it's left to your imagination. Yeah, and and so that's why you were able to see this on t television before. Uh, um. Before it was completely. Um, you know, just kind of uh, sent to syndication hell, you know, is uh, I mean, this one was on, on an actual. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if them um, parts was edited out for the movie. I don't know. I don't know if they filmed those bits. I don't know. But it just proves that you don't need to have gory detail in your face all the time to yeah. carry a story. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good tale. Um, Sharon Stone, as I say, another actress who would, we don't really see that often these days. Um, no, you're right about that. She I mean, is. She, she was at the height, height of her fame, mid-90s, going on there, and she was getting cast in everything. And to play a uh, drug addict ex, um, what do you call him? Booker? 
Okay, that was that's the word I was, I was going to say something else. Prostitute. <laughs> I was going to say whore. <laughs> whore, yeah. Um, she's a yeah. She's a, she she's run by this guy, but then she's just kind of in love with that guy. That 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 quintessential California boy. I mean, you can tell he's quintessential California boy because he's wearing those '90s uh, sort of gap pants or whatever they're called um in uh in the 70s and ostensibly the 70s or the 80s so you're just like hmm yeah that the the only place that they were being worn at all was california at that point so yeah uh, i mean a great a great um role for sharon stone and yeah. it's, it's one what you don't really associate with her you know other characters she's played in movies right um, and James Woods is such a Republican. Oh my gosh, he's so, he's a MAGA. He's actually like one of those ones that is that is fruity with his like his his whole believing that that JFK Jr. might come back. I don't know. I, I actually don't know how weird he is about it, but he's pretty weird about it. Anyway, um, well, I'll tell I'll tell you, with James Wood, this is one of his roles what I enjoyed. Because we have, we did re- review a movie last year with James Wood in it, and God, that was god awful. Do you remember Vampires? Uh, <laughs> do I? Uh, but this one, he 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 hit him. You know, he he didn't do anything wrong for me in this one. Yeah, you know, he was ideally cast. Yep. Um, yeah. Um, any moments for you in this then what stand out for you um well i i love it when the they beat up the guy with the the electrics uh the the guy who's um got that thing that that thing that's pumping out his his leg hitting his leg for the number of cards or the right card and the <laughs> that his friend is reading from the other side of the other table I just thought that was really amazing. They come across and give him electric shock from a cattle prod. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That was that was pretty pretty sweet and <clears throat> and then that was, that was a great. So the, the scene following that as well, where De Niro gets him in the back room. Yeah. Uh, did, can you do? Can you do the cards with both hands or just your left hand or whatever? You know. I can only do it all right. So he smashes that hand up. You'll have to learn to do it. You're right now. With a ha- with a hammer. I mean, hammer, yeah. yeah. You thought he was going to cut his hand off, but yeah, he, yeah. he just hits it with a hammer. Which you don't actually see. Yeah. You see the hammer going up and go down, but you don't see contact. Yeah, that's true. So this is what we're saying about the, you, you, you don't need all that. You just have to have a good, good acting and, that was that scene was well acted, you know. It's a Scorsese uh, tribute to to be able to elicit that much response from your actors and stuff. I mean, Scorsese. It, I mean, we've we've reviewed loads of movies and we've had different directors. Um, Scorsese does stick with what he knows with the actors. Uh, he he uses the same ones over and over again. Not necessarily in every single movie, but uh, an actor he's used before will always crop up in a movie because he knows that they can do the job. Yep. Have you you got the disc there, have you? Yep. So have I. Nice. Nice. That's the same same version, I think. Same version. Yep. And uh, and the. The back. Oh yeah, yeah. Is it the same? Yeah, pretty close. Yeah, pretty close. That's awesome. But um so and like we all end up looking at, at Scorsese movies going, you know, how does he keep doing it and how does he keep nailing it? And you know, we know that his fascination is probably because on some mm-hmm. level in some part of his life. He must have known somebody in LCN. Yeah? 
Who knows? Because of because of how accurate these things are and mm-hmm. and all of that. Yeah, I think he, he's probably made or you know, is best friends to somebody who's made. <laughs> and I just think that I you know, you gotta you gotta admit it because it's I mean he he dreams up these things and then you know dreams them from like right from the news. Mm. Like this is this is right from the news stories of, of the 70s in yeah. Las Vegas, which you know someone in, in Los Angeles would be hearing a lot more about Las Vegas than people on the East Coast and stuff like that. So anyway, it's pretty cool. It's it, yeah, it's um it's it's I say it's a damn good it's a gritty drama this. Um it's a shame Pesci sort of faded away from acting. Um yeah. you know with I mean, it hit the big time in the well, early nineties, wasn't it? With Lethal Weapon, with um, Casino, um, Home Alone. Uh, yeah. What was the other one he was in? Uh, my cousin Vinny. Um, yeah. You know, it, and then all of a sudden he just sort of disappeared. Until was it last year or the year before? The Irishman. Yeah. We surfaced in that with, of course, De Niro. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, great casting all around, I think. And for me, his his demise because the once the mob get the gist that the uh, you know the the, uh, the FBI and all like that are um, out to get them. Yeah. Uh, you want to get rid of all the loose ends, so to, to go out and about to just killing everyone, so you know, in case anybody wants to talk. Um, and with Pesci's um character's demise, uh, th- that was brutal. With you know, yeah. in a, in a, dumped in a grave with his brother, beaten, beaten to a pulp, buried alive. Yeah, I um, mean, they didn't even. They didn't even bother killing them. Yeah, they yeah. just they just kind of threw them in there together. And I, I did read. It, I, I thought, well, what? I'll, what and it's funny it? that 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 he's narrating his own death. Yeah, this is what confused me on that bit. <laughs> uh, that was, uh, yeah. I see. I I can see that that was that was a little clunky there. Yeah, um, I did after watching that, and I thought, right, I'll I'll read up on the the real people the based on and his character did actually he he did disappear um oh. he did disappear he, and his brother disappeared uh and the bodies were found uh several months afterwards in the in grave together so it's it, as i say it's all based on true events yeah it's it's taken right from the news right from the news that, that you'd hear in los angeles about las vegas it's and it was, it was, uh, I mean, if you're pro- probably, if you're in the family or whatever, La Familia or whatever, you, you'd hear about it even more because, you know, these are people that you, that you were, um, that you were aware of. And you, I, I know we've sort of, mentioned it, but with Sc- Scorsese making movies like this, based on true events, I wonder what the family think. Well, that's you know, right. That's why you gotta wonder if he's made himself, if he's a made person, because if he's he, if he's a made person, then 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 he's done the 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 vow that he shouldn't reveal the secrets. But- <laughs> But he's making movies like this. But he's making <laughs> movies like this. Based on true events. <laughs> highlighting, highlighting what the mob get up to. Uh, uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's a it's a challenge to figure that out. Yeah. Yeah. But uh yeah. Any anything else what comes to mind or yeah, he looks like he's uh like he's done a lot of things recently actually he's done 
I mean, he was he's been doing stuff like in France and uh he's been producing like crazy. He produced Long Strange Trip, the the story of the Grateful Dad. Mm -hmm. He produced that was in 17. He produced uh once we're brothers and he produced the irishman and pieces of a woman and then he did this one called pretend it's a city uh evolution the card counter yeah wolf on wall street hugo shutter island the departed the aviator yeah Gangs of New York. The Eternal Daughter and Personality Crisis, two movies back to back for next year or this year. I don't know. It's just it's amazing. You know, he's really done a lot. And I just think that that, you know, just keep the man busy. I'm just looking at I'm just looking at the list of um, you know, Mean Streets, of course. Taxi Driver. New Taxi York, Driver. New York, Raging Bull. Um, King of Comedy, yep, Color of Money. Didn't realize that was him, but yeah, uh, Last Temptation of Christ, Goodfellas, Cape Fear. But nearly every movie, <laughs> I'm just looking now, in nearly every movie, De Niro, yeah, apparently, Raging Bull, King of Comedy, Goodfellas, Cape Fear, yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, well, Mr. Big uh, Gangster knew it wasn't De Niro, but um, de uh, yeah, huh? so it's, it's, <laughs> it, it, they must be really good friends. They must be. They, they just must be like, like this is this is how 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 I work. And if you're gonna hire me to produce something, I'm gonna I'm gonna involve my friend. Robert, yeah. Robert De Niro. You'll never heard of him, but he's a he's an actor I like to use. His name is Robert De Niro. Well, it, I think I think he's it's going down the same route with Leonardo DiCaprio because Gangs of New York, The Aviator. <laughs> um, what else was there? Was it Departed, Shutter yeah. Island, Wolf of Wall Street, the DiCaprio films. <laughs> so, he's getting he's getting his money's worth out of him as well. So, yeah, and I think he's gonna he's gonna end up doing uh, a lot with this this un, this other actor, who maybe you've heard of. Uh, his name is Oscar Isaac. He just started mm -hmm. using him for a lot of things. Yeah. Well, we know Oscar Isaac. Too. No, no, uh, uh, never heard of him. No. <laughs> so, shall we go to? Yeah. Yes, yeah, go on then. Over to you. All right. Um, my final say and score uh, for this this wonderful piece of work is I will give this 10, uh, 10 card counting uh, transmitters out of 10. And jeez, uh, oh, that was so cool. I thought that was so cool. It's just <laughs> like, that's the way to win. Because the rest of it's just well, the house, the house always wins. Uh, anyway, yeah, uh, the house always yeah. wins. So you're gonna you're gonna go to a casino. You just bring money to give to the casino. Anyway, uh, that's that's my that's my theory on the subject. And uh, so I'll give it ten, ten huge poker chips out of ten. And I'll just like uh, I'll say that that. That uh, I I really am enjoying uh, uh, doing watching LCN things and the other side of the story, the CIA and FBI yeah. things. I mean, you got you got two two sort of tribes, and they're they're they're, they're at, at each other like like right. And that's just interesting to me. Is the, the the and the confluence is is interesting. The 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 differences in the this movie, it was about the gaming control board and and trying to get trying to get uh, old Ace a, a a license to 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 put on games and stuff, and he just didn't get it. 
It's like one of those kids who goes out for his driver's license 14 times. Anyway. <laughs> uh, uh, back over to you, Lee. Well, I, I, do, I do enjoy the movie. It is a good movie. Uh, as I say, I've only had two niggles that I mentioned it before. The, the length of the movie is <laughs> quite long. And also the narration. The narration. The narration. So for that reason and that reason alone, it's get for me. It's getting a nine. It's still a high score. It's, it, so casino's getting nine heads in a vice. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one that I, I, that's the one that Alex remind like <laughs> forewarned me. He's like, that's that's the scene. I don't know if they had to cut it out or if they. They change it. No, but you didn't see it, did you? You saw the guy with the head in the vice. Uh -huh. and it was tightening up, tightening up, but you didn't see it. It popped like a balloon. You saw Pesci walk away, and that was it. Um, oh my yeah, God. that's that, that, that advice from me. Um, it's a good movie if you're into all that. Yeah, I... gangster type. Yeah. yeah, give it a watch. Um, I'd always like to start this new year off thanking Susan. Yeah, you're welcome. For being here. You're welcome. The stalwart of the uh, Geeks Assemble. It's so fun to do podcasting <laughs> with you, Lee. And I'm really I'm I, I've had a really good time. And, and mm -hmm. I know that we're that we're knocking on eight years now. It so that's like just I... that, that's super fun. <laughs> but yeah, uh, because we're always here. We do sometimes take a break or sometimes when one of us is not available to be here. We have a week off every now and again. Um, we would like other people to join us. Uh, we have asked many, <laughs> many, many times to, uh, for people to join us, but as yet, nobody has got in touch. So I'm not going to ask anymore. All right. No, that's it. I'm not going to ask people to join. I'm not going to ask people to leave comments because they don't. Okay. So that is it. So from now on, we'll... like and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Like and subscribe because I just feel like I'm wasting my breath sometimes. No uh, notification. Notification, yes. And that's it, I think. Is it? Um, Join you on social media. Yes, we're on Facebook, Twitter, Insta, and of course, this big thing here called YouTube. Uh huh. Hey, listen. Um, hey, listen. If you're if you're worried about Twitter disappearing, uh, I'll be I'll be evaluating some other sites for uh in, involvement in geekdom. Oh, just, cool. just just in case you're worried that 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 Twitter's about to go tits up. Well, we don't know what's going on, do we? I mean, Mr. Musk um, put it huh. to the vote for people that, that wanted him to leave or stay as the. Uh, was it the head of Twitter and they right? all wanted to leave? I know. He's still, he's still there. It's kind of like the opposite of what happened in, in Britain with the, the, the stay or leave thing. <laughs> Am I right? I'm, I'm right again about that yeah. too. But the, let me let me let me suggest that um that that you know Hanging out with us on social media is just a whole lot more fun than hanging out with anybody super famous because we like to talk and we are really fun. It's just, it's, we, well, we do, we do it once a week, uh -huh. um, maybe just an hour, a couple of hours at, at the most. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we go off on our merry way mm -hmm. and do everything. Yeah, we, we used to do it on a Saturday, but we used to on a Friday, but we do it on a Sunday now yep. because... Of, of work commitments and stuff like that. And yeah, and this is the ideal time for Susan. And me, I'm just, uh, any day do me, but Susan, Thank I you. changed it for her because that's the kind of person I am. And because, because, yeah, because some of the, some of the other members really were, were not enjoying Saturday. I, 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 I sorted out this time, but, um, where are they? We just we just we just like uh we enjoy doing super geeky stuff 
Uh, yeah. We're we're big time fans of who we're big time fans of, and uh, and so the other the other thing that we're doing this this uh, this week is Andor, and I got to tell you, mm-hmm. I got some some major fandom hops for that one too. So oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> can't wait for that one <laughs> so until, <laughs> until next time guys uh, please just subscribe and follow us and give us a thumbs up and whatever and maybe we might see you on a cast hopefully I might change my view on other things but so until next time stay safe bye for now